Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to cover medications that are used to help people lose weight. This is such a hot topic in medicine right now and always, but we have some really exciting new tools and I'm excited to discuss them with you. The first class is appetite suppressants. You've probably heard of these before. The main one that's used these days is called Phentermine. Phentermine is meant to be used for a few months and is a decent option for people if they don't have high blood pressure or heart rate problems and just need to lose a few pounds or maybe just need a kickstart in the right direction. Some of the drawbacks of this are dry mouth, sometimes it can cause anxiety or heart palpitations, and so you want to talk with your doctor before you start a medication like this. Sometimes topiramate, also known as Topamax, is used along with a stimulant to help curb cravings, especially soda pop. Some people do great with this, some people don't really see much of a difference. It does increase your risk of kidney stones, so long-term use is sometimes discouraged. The next is a medicine called Contrave, which is a combination of bupropion, which is otherwise known as Welbutrin, and naltrexone. So what it does is Welbutrin helps with satiation or the feeling of satisfaction, and naltrexone blocks opioid receptors. And opioid receptors think of addiction. So for people who have compulsive food eating or obsessive thoughts about food all day long, it takes away the reward from eating. What happens with this medicine is that as it builds up in your system, at some point you just stop eating when you're not hungry anymore because you're not getting rewarded. So for people who eat because of the reward, it's a great option. It's not rapid weight loss, but it is a good organic way of limiting the amount of food that you eat and therefore decreasing your calorie intake. We don't use it in people who are on chronic pain medications because it blocks opioid receptors and would render those ineffective. Also, if you have a history of a seizure disorder, we do not use it because bupropion can lower the seizure threshold or make it more likely to have seizures. They also slow the emptying time of the stomach and it makes people feel fuller. Some people experience this as nausea initially, but once they get accustomed to that sensation, they tolerate this medicine very well. We're talking about medicines like Ozempic, the generic is semaglutide, or Manjaro, which is terzepatide. These medications have been used with great results in celebrities. Everybody's been talking about them for the last couple of years, and they really show a lot of promise. They do tend to have side effects, at least in some people. One of those, like I mentioned, is nausea and that often goes away with time and generally what we do is we either back down the dose or keep someone at that dose until they tolerate it better. Also, taking it if you're taking an oral form, there's a pill called Rebelsis, which is semaglutide. Um, if you take it with protein, that can help. Also, sometimes just supplementing some nausea medicine along the way can be helpful. The other uh, side effect, I like to call the number two, side effect is constipation. So we often recommend increasing your fiber intake, increasing your water intake, and possibly using stool softeners or things like Miralax to help keep things moving. We don't recommend use of these medications in people who have a history of pancreatitis or people who have a history of thyroid medullary carcinoma. It's the least common form of thyroid cancer or people who have a history of either themselves or in their family, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type two or MEN2 syndrome. Long-term effects that we've seen from these medications, people talk about ozempic face or ozempic bottom. That's because of rapid weight loss and so their tissues will sag initially. So certainly building muscle mass and drinking a lot of water can help give you that elasticity. We expect to see those happen when someone loses a significant amount of weight, especially if it happens rapidly. 
Remember, when we're talking about weight loss, there is not a deadline. We are looking for the healthier version of you and it takes however long it takes. One of the things that I always remind my patients, and I hate to be Debbie Downer, but you have to start incorporating the healthier food choices, mindful eating, and exercise so that you can maintain the weight lost. If you have all of those puzzle pieces in place, when you're ready to come off of the medications, hopefully you can maintain your weight loss. At the end of the day, Medications may be a really useful tool in helping you achieve your weight loss goal. Like and subscribe and tune in for more.